Um, all right, y'all, we got upper body and core today. Gina is going to be training me, but we're gonna start with a warm up. Give me a little chance to talk. So let's go with some arm swings. We're gonna go backwards. I'll do it with you. Oh, thank you. This will be Gina's workout for the day. Yeah, then I'm done. Don't ask me to do anything else <laughs> for the rest of the day. Warming up the shoulders. Actually, today's pull up day. Ooh, let's change directions. I don't have a pull up bar at home, so I haven't been able to practice. <laughs> don't use one of those ones that sit in the door. <laughs> all right, let's go horizontal. I'll alternate that top arm. Still just getting the shoulders warmed up. All right, next up, we are going to take it to a walkout. We're going to go four shoulder taps at the bottom. So, fingers start touching the toes, walk it out, hit that high plank. Let's go one, two, three, four. Walk it right on up, tap the toes, stand up tall, and back down. One, two, three, four. Walk it back up. We're going to go two more times. Keep it lifted. 
So you should feel it right here on that side. You got 10 seconds and we're gonna switch sides. Four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Timer's on in five, four, three, two, one. John Ward's in the house. Hi, John. Welcome. Golf mom. I looked. I don't know everybody's Instagram names, but I'll try to call you all out if I can. All right, we're already 15 seconds in, guys. Keep pushing. Now we're on the other side. So you should feel on the other oblique. How's that feeling, Carla? Oh, yeah. You're <laughs> good. You got five seconds, and you got a 30 second break. We're going to go through this two more times, but we're going to make it harder each time. Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, little break. We're going to go back to those chest flies in about 20 seconds. If you want, you can go a little bit heavier. Uh, this time, Carly's going to lift up into a bridge while she does it. So then we activate core, glutes, and getting a little bit of everything while she does it. All right, let's start in five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Timer's on. You got 30 seconds. Hi, everybody. I'm going to wave to everyone. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I didn't go over on time at all, I swear. 
bring your arms back just a little bit. There you go. This is a perfect spot to start. Now, if you want to make it a little bit harder, you'll try to get up a little bit higher if you can and bring your feet up at the same time. Guys, this is a work in progress, though. You probably are not going to be able to hold this very high for too, too long. But stay down right like this and just hold as long as you possibly can because you only have three seconds left. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, 30 seconds break. We're going back to the Renegade Rose, guys. Go a little bit heavier on these if you can because 30 seconds is going by really fast. Well, for me at least. I don't know about y'all, but it's definitely going by fast. You ready? Yep. Ready? Set, go. I think, I think we should add a little bit of time to Woo! these. So we're going to add 40, huh? 40, 45, 45, 45 for these, and then the other guys will be 45 as well. But we'll keep the hollow hold at 30 seconds, guys. We'll keep the hollow hold at 30 seconds. For this one, guys, if you don't have dumbbells that you can rest on the floor like this, you can also put one hand on the floor. And if you're using like a soup can or a water bottle, just go one side there. Go oh, about three on one side, switch it over, and three on the other, and just keep alternating for that whole set. You got 10 seconds left, guys. Otherwise, we're banging them out. Try to set those dumbbells nice and lightly down. Don't let them slam down on, on, down onto the ground. But that was my four more. Three, two, one. All right, going back to those bent over wides. Wide rows. Wide rows. Whatever we want to call it, I guess. Okay, ready? 45 seconds here, guys. Perfect. If you guys are feeling this one in your low back, make sure you're keeping that back nice and flat and squeeze your glutes. So don't arch your back so much and don't let it round out. So you don't want it to look like this or so much like that. So just keep it nice and flat and try to hinge at your hips. So soft knees as well. So if your knees are straight, it's going to make everything feel really off. So give them a little bit of a light athletic stance. You're already 30 seconds in. You only got 15 more seconds. That's why I call soft knees. Athletic stance. Yeah. You're all ready. We're all, we're all athletes here. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. Woo! All right, guys. Sorry to do this to you, but we're going back to the hollow hold. <laughs> All right, arms up over your head, legs extended out. You're gonna lift them up. Ready, set, go, time's on. Look how perfect that is. I don't know if you could get a better <laughs> hollow hold here. Jarrett Nobles might argue that he could do one better, but I just don't think that's the case. I don't see Jarrett Nobles here. I don't. But he'll be here on Friday, y'all. Guys, the man returns. Special guest appearance. appearance. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Was that two rounds? Two? That was two. We got one more. One more round, guys. So take a little break. Don't worry. I got the timer on for your break as well. So we're going to go back to Renegade Rose. On this round, I want to work on time under tension. So I want you all to move a little bit slower. And I want to see how softly you can set those dumbbells down. All right. So we're starting in three. Two, one. We got 45 seconds here. Woo! That was quiet. Impressive. Okay. Also, do not let your hips rotate. So a way to avoid this is to widen your stance. So if you're here, widen that stance to here. And then also, just kind of engage those quads, right? You should be able to row without letting those hips rotate. However, you guys are on the third round, so it's a little bit harder. Focus on pulling that elbow back. Use your back muscles. Set it down nice and easy. You got five seconds. Four, two, easy. You should have gone through this so quick. Two, one. Awesome. Okay. Here we go. Maybe you should grab like extra weight on top of that. I don't know if my hands are big enough for that. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Alright, you guys ready? We got 45 seconds here. Ready, set, go. Let's go single, single, then both at the same time. Woo! Boom. Triple row. Single, single, both arms at the same time. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Single, single, 
that if you kind of get off balance, you have the opportunity, opportunity to put one down. And then also, don't forget about this press. You're coming into like a neutral grip press, keeping those elbows close, extending all the way up, and just hold it up there for even just like a second. You're already here. You only got 10 seconds left. This is easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, that's what Carly said. Three, two, one. Perfect. All right, iron crosses, guys. Grab those lighter weights, because these iron crosses are no joke. No joke. You want big shoulders. Presses into iron crosses. Gina is shoulder goals. Ready, set, go. Okay, so in case y'all need it harder, which most of the time is not the case, you can stand on one leg. I'll tell you when you get halfway, and then you can switch legs. Keep going. There you go, there you go. All right, switch legs, guys. Yeah. It's like starting out. Now we got a little balance going, but also you have a major core. Core engaged. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, breaking break. Grab water. Oh, I'm sorry. We've got side plank crunches too. You can still so grab water. You can still grab water, but we're gonna move into those side plank crunches. This time, she's gonna be on her feet and still on her elbow. Ready, set, go. So we're making it a little bit harder. She's going stacking her feet like this but on her elbow. And I don't know if y'all are paying attention, but basically that means your last round you're gonna be on your hand. I'm sure y'all figured that out by now, but just in case you didn't, I'm, I'm giving you a heads up. All right, nice and controlled. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Keeping that other side from dropping down. Three, two, one, perfect. Last 30 seconds that you get to see our faces. 